Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have an 8x8 inch uh, gallery wrap canvas. Um, my base coat today is just uh, Artist Love Flow Acrylic White. And I'm going to do my uh, four chamber cup pour. And I have all my paints poured already in my cup. I purchased this cup quite a while ago. And I'm going to try and do a ring pour, but we'll just see how it turns out. Um, my inspiration for this uh, came from Fiona of Fiona Art. And her inspiration um, came from R. King. Just the initial R in the last name of King. So if you get a chance, go to their channels and check it out. Um, they both have wonderful um, ring pours using the chamber cup. And I'm going to attempt it today. Um, it is, I've tried twice and failed on it, so it, it's not, it's not an easy pour, but I'm just going to give it a try here again today. And my other paints, I'm just using the four colors. They are all Liquitex Basics. First one is the Deep Green Permanent. Second one is Turquoise Blue. Third one is Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. And the last one is the Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red Medium Hue. And like I said, I do have a very light coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White around the edges and the corners. And I will be adding a little bit to that after I put my paint down. And I may spin it out. I, I may, may just tilt it. I'm not sure yet. My pouring medium today is three parts Floetrol to three parts Minwax Polyacrylic and two parts of a glue mixture. And that glue mixture is three to one glue to water. No silicone is added. And I will have all of this in the description. And how I mixed them is I put two parts of the pouring medium to one part paint. So let's get started. And I'm just going to start in the middle here and oops pour the paint looks like I got a little water in there it's probably from washing that cup out Let's see if I can get the water off okay let's try that again Just going to go in a circular motion here. Fiona really got a really beautiful um, design on hers when she did it. I'm going to try and tip it down here a little more. Just trying to make a design in it here. See what I come up with. I thought I would try and go with some bright colors today.
just going the opposite way now just having some fun with it and then I'll come back out here and finish up Gonna have plenty of paint for this painting, for this canvas. I did purchase this cup, I believe, on Etsy. So you can um, go to, just go to Etsy and uh, search for like chamber cups for pour painting and I'm sure they would come up. I also have a five chamber cup, a little bit bigger one. And I don't even think I'm going to need any of my white paint here today. I have plenty of paint for this canvas. Okay. Let me talk about this cup just for a second. Um, the two inside chambers hold almost two ounces. The outside two chambers hold about 1.7 ounces. I did not fill it um, to the top, probably about an ounce and a half of each color I had today. And I'm gonna give it a torch here before I start tipping or start turning it, spinning it. I think I will try to spin it, but spin it slowly. I do remember watching um, Fiona's channel that she said, if you spin it, spin it slowly. I have a little bit of this turquoise color left, so I'm just going to put it on my edges here to help the paint move. As we use it up. Okay, ready to spin. I do like what I see there now. Very pretty. Especially this middle part. I do like that. So I'm going to give it a spin, just a slower spin. Just to spin some of the paint off. And I'll spin again. And I'll spin in the opposite direction. I really do like this. This is very, very pretty. And I'll give it another spin. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with that. Very, very pretty. Um, I'm going to give it another torch here. And I am going to get you down for a close-up. Okay, here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. And again, this is an eight by eight inch ring pour using the four chamber cup. 
just reminds me of fire, like a fire ring. This is the lower left hand corner. And I'll take you over to the middle here. So pretty in here. Just love that design. And I'll take you over to the right. This is the upper right hand corner. And just take you down here. I'm glad I had one that turned out. And I want to thank Fiona and Mr. King, our King, for this inspiration for this pour. And let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure that you ring the bell, choose all, so you'll be notified the next time I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.